What's up legends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies and today we're checking out the new aftermarket part for the FJX Horus known as the Jack Scimitar. You'll unlock this by completing five of the week three weekly challenges. And this thing is a little bit interesting. It is gonna make it more for bullet velocity and range than anything else. So it might not be great for zombies just because it simply kind of changes the elements that make this weapon so good in zombies, being that it does harm sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, movement speed, and sprint speed. You cannot use a barrel or magazine, but the benefits are that you can actually have a better bullet velocity and range, recoil control, firing aim stability, and gun kick control, which, in my opinion, doesn't really help for zombies all that much. But today, we're going to check it out, see what it can do, see if it's even worth running. I have a feeling that the normal FJX horse is probably going to be better for zombies, but we'll just have to give it a shot in order to see for sure. I did bring some stuff in order to get things going here. I'm going to go ahead and pack a punch to level one and we'll head into the tier two zone to do our first contract. All right, we got our first contract and it's a mangler. Mangler is solid, especially for us not having a rarity on the weapon for the first one. One thing I didn't mention about this is it does automatically equip a 60 round drum, which is partial part of the conversion kit. So that is a benefit, right? So you get more ammunition, although it might not actually be as good. So it might not matter. And I think a lot of the times, if you run MAGA holding, you probably don't care about the magazine size as much anyway. Go ahead and reload. It's really hard for me to tell how strong it is. It doesn't seem crazy strong yet. But obviously we are trying to do... We're trying to do a freaking tier 2 bounty with pack 1 weapon, so... It doesn't always go that smoothly anyway. Good news, brought the golden armor, so we wouldn't have to worry about plates for this exact reason. It gets a bit chaotic. Okay, gotta get rid of some of these zombies. Reload. I mean, it has pretty much zero recoil, which is great. You can build it for ADS speed a little bit. Oh, it still has the effect. That is one of the things I was kind of concerned about. I do have a feeling, though, it's still going to be better in its base, base form no conversion kit. I do have a feeling. I think it'll still be good here. I don't think it's going to let us down, but I absolutely think it will probably be better without the conversion kit. Still time to till, still time to tell though. All right, let's see what we got now. It's probably going to get pretty competitive for the contracts. Yep. Doesn't look like we even have a, a bounty available. Let's we'll wait and see what happens here. It's a battle out here for these contracts. All right, let's get another one. This time we're actually going to go epic. We'll be able to see if this thing's doing some damage. We got a mimic this time too. Good thing we didn't get the mimic for the first one. I'm going to be honest. The mimics wouldn't bother me nearly as much if their little orb ability that they shot out Functin, fun, functioned similar to Cold War. Because in Cold War, it had a much higher chance of missing, and it seemed a lot more reasonable. In this game, it does not feel reasonable. All right, epic tool. We'll have to get into a position where we're actually critting it. Man, hellhounds everywhere. All right, come on. Come on up. Reload. Cook, 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 cook. That's not terrible. I mean, the good news is it's not hard to control the recoil, right? Ooh, speed cola? Getting the hookup. We're actually getting the hookup. Yeah, this thing isn't doing too bad. I still, again, I, you're going to have to let me know down in the comment section below if you guys think the normal FJX Horus, which was already good, they also got another buff seems better without the conversion kit because i feel like it i don't think this thing's providing much of a benefit to it besides reducing the recoil which isn't really a huge issue with the weapon to begin with all right game hook us up with a disciple if it's not a disciple i might just have to go pack to you nope it's a disciple hooked us up exactly exactly the way we wanted it to all right let's head over to this we can fight this disciple and then we can move on to pack punch level two I just like to fight the Disciple before we gear up too much, because Disciples are usually the most challenging for that specific zone. So in this case, obviously Tier 2, Disciple Contract, or Disciple Bounty, obviously, is going to be the most difficult out of all the ones available. Same thing goes in Tier 3. I still think the Disciple is more challenging than even the Mega Abomination. There's just things about the Mega Abomination that you can do, or with the Mega Abomination that you can do, that makes it significantly easier. Meanwhile, if you just don't damage out, if you don't have the damage to output against a disciple and it can leech off of you, you can find yourself not even being able to do more damage than it can heal. 
basically. So you'll do a little bit of damage. It'll start healing. I mean, this thing's actually actually doing pretty good here. Bro, they are just throwing flesh. That is my least favorite thing that they do. It's like either make them throw it slower or just don't make them so... Like, they could jump up there. I'd rather them jump up there than what they were just doing. All right, let's get rid of this guy. It, and it's so deceiving, too. I think with this this aftermarket part, the other thing that's kind of rough is that the weapon's already so good. There we go. We got it. PhD, we already got that on. Self-revive. W. All right. We got the most challenging bounty out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of hard to just cheese disciples. If they can leech their health back quicker than you can do the damage. Okay, this will be the one we do pack a punch level two, and we'll just see how we do. Oh, and it's a disciple. Even better. Pack two, disciple. I mean, we did pretty good with pack one against the disciple, even though we are epic. So I think this will be this will be a breeze. Won't be a big deal at all. Again, this is really just tough to compare because we already know the FJX Horus is such a good weapon already. It's been a top five weapon in my opinion, especially for the high threat zone or even the dark ether. So now we're adding in an aftermarket part that I can't clearly justify that is an upgrade for the weapon, at least not in zombies, but it is still performing well because obviously it is the, the same weapon. It didn't really change a ton outside of outside of the uh, the fire rate went down a little bit, which I think might have impacted the damage, but I'm not sure exactly if the damage changed at all. It did make it look like on the status bars or whatever, or the stat bars, I should say, that the damage was a little bit affected, but it didn't say a value change. It just showed the bar different. So I'm not sure if that's just a, a bug or what, or if it actually does somehow affect the damage. All right, pack one crystal. All right, nothing too crazy. Let's go find us a mega abomination and we can head into tier three and have some fun for the rest of our match here. All right, we got our mega abomination here. Now, I did want to make sure not to use MAGA holding on it in this run specifically, just so we could see how it would perform without it. But I'm sure it does great with MAGA holding as the original version does as well. Again, another another issue with the weapon is that even though you're getting a bigger mag for zombies, it doesn't... Unless you're not using MAGA holding, I guess, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Yeah, let's get up here. Should be able to get it to stop doing this thing. So weird how it does this thing where it just like floats. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay. I don't know why you're hitting me. Oh, did he just disappear? Come on. Are we serious with this? I gotta get another one now. Hopefully we get lucky it just spawns right back in. We got trolled. The game does that sometimes though with these mega bombs. They just disappear. Without any sense or logic behind it. Alright, another one spawned in. We're good. Come on, Mega. I can destroy your face this time a little bit quicker. Where the Hellhound? We're not killing the Hellhound too quick. Yeah, I kind of feel like with the other one, even though we're not like super close, I feel like the other one would have already destroyed the face before it even got this far. I could be wrong. Uh, come on. Come on, Mega Bomb. Go back up here again. It doesn't function the same sometimes over here. It's so hit or miss. Alright, come on. Come on. I mean, we are doing damage. I won't take it away from it. Go ahead and do that. More hellhounds hitting me in a second. We might get through it. Oh, we got through it right there at the end. I was like, might have to reload first. Not bad. Didn't feel like we breezed through it too quickly. But hey, you know what? It definitely did the job. Okay, let's go ahead and head into the high threat zone. See if we can actually get some contracts. Looks like we have a bounty right there already available. I do want to see if we can get a triangle. I doubt it. So we're probably going to have to go buy our pack three, which is fine. But I do want to grab the bounty since we're close. We'll check to see if some magical way there's a triangle over here. And we'll go from there. Holy smokes, we're going to fight all these guys with pack two. 
I mean, moving through the zombies quickly. High rate of fire does a lot for this game when it comes to zombies. Bro, holy smokes. Can I just, like, take a break from y'all? Oh, that's why there are so many. Come on. I got the same... Bro, I can't even break this leeching ability. Come on. Bro. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Holy smokes, that was a party. All right, let's see if we can get this thing, and then we'll head over, see if there's any triangles, because once we grab this, at least it'll be available, right? Grab it. The zombies are everywhere over here. What, do we get a mega? Nope, we got the disciple. Definitely got to get pack a bunch of level three. And it's right here. Holy smokes. We got the worst location of all time. We get pack three. Well, at least pack three is in a good spot, but I already got so much stuff chasing me. Bro, take a break. Why? Why must you attack me? All right, pack three. Get through this mimic. Thank you. All right, we're going to cook with our dead, dead shot here. Reload. Hurry fast. There's so many. Oh, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Much better now. Can't see with all these dang DNA strands, though. All right. Hopefully, we can take this thing out. Good news is we have our golden armor on, which is going to help us a lot, because not having plates when you need them can be tough sometimes, especially in the high-threat zone. Disciple off the rip, taking us to the full challenge. Yeah, we are not cooking this. Damn zombies quick enough. Look at that. There's too many. And their their range is just so broken. Holy smokes. Alright, we're cooking through them a little bit. We're cooking through this about as quickly as it seemed like we did the other disciple before we pack a punch to three. Come on, got out of here, zombie. Yeah, we are not frying this guy. Hey, come on. I think they extended the range on that ability, because now it goes further away. Maybe it's a way to, like, try to make it more difficult. Come down here. Yeah, there you go. It's gonna make me come all the way up there to try to take him out. Bro. It's tanky, tanky, tanky. There we go. Got the jug, stuff we don't need. That's fine. Is what it is, right? Well, we can get the rest of our perks. That's 100% a thing. Perks, let's go. Boom. 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 All right, what do we uh what what else do we have here? What's next? These guys are doing an escort. They're cruising along. Just have to wait and see if something spawns in. Could do a cargo delivery, but not necessarily what we're here for. All right, cool. Gave it a second. Another bounty spawned in. Maybe this time it'll be a mega abomination. That'd be pretty cool. Grab this thing and just start running. I gotta go this way. Bro. Zombies trying to attack me in the doors. Give me a sec, zombies. That's why there's so many. When a disciple spawns in, it's like, there's just so many zombies. Come on, get rid of them. Get them out. There we go. Yeah, I'm still convinced there's more zombies just in the regular open world areas now than there is doing a contract. Okay, I got rid of that guy. I got rid of that guy. Where's our bounty? It's another disciple. What the hell is the odds of that? Come on, man. Give me a mangler. Give me not necessarily a mimic. But a back-to-back -back disciples in tier three. Oh, funny enough, it's the good one. So hold on. Get up here. I think I just have to shoot at it and he might come this way. Gotta get rid of all this damn zombies in the process, though. This is one of the best locations, easily, to get any contract. Holy smokes, come on. All right, come over here. Where you at? Shoot. If I shoot at him, usually he comes up here. But I'm not getting a break from these zombies long enough to actually... 
All right, here we go. Okay, he should just stand still. Gonna make sure I throw that, because zombies want to throw flesh at me. Okay, we're cooking. I guess it's probably just better not to mount. Keep hitting this, making sure we stay on the head or on the crit spot. Yeah, this thing definitely does not fry this guy. Look at that. Tanky boy. But it does the job. Gotta be careful, though. A bunch of zombies might jump up here in about 10 seconds. Normally, they they stay wherever they are. They, like, paused in, in place as soon as you get on this roof right here. So if I wanted to stand right here for a second and look around, I got time. All right, let's actually go grab that guy. Why, why not? And then maybe we'll pop the legendary tool after that. I was kind of hoping we'd get a mega bomb, so... Maybe we'll wait a little longer, but I don't want to burn too much more of the match without going all the way full power, you know? All right. Almost got it. It was like second, third try-ish. Got to be the most obnoxious part of the Outlast now. And yes, I could switch it to whatever the heck the other interact thing is, but I shouldn't have to change my, my setup for it to, to fix it. What the hell? Dude jumped over my head, and then it knocked me off. Take out all these zombies. Most of these zombies aren't even from... They're, like, just still chasing me from before. All right, good amount of zombies spawning here. We got a, a mangler. Come on, mangler. Like, I know we're not legendary, but this thing just definitely doesn't seem particularly strong. Particularly strong. Come on. A disciple. We gotta take that guy out quick. He's gonna provide. This is actually pretty, pretty popping for an outlast. There's a lot of the times I do this contract, like 50% of it, it's just a snooze. Some of the times I'm shooting these zombies, I promise you, it feels like I'm not doing anything. Like they just, they just stand there and take it. I think the biggest thing is there's multiple DNA strands on my screen and it gets to the point you just can't see. Like that's a regular mangler. That thing should just be disintegrated. It's not happening. Another self-revive. Everything we already got. No big deal. Alright. Not bad. I have to wait a second to see if any other contracts spawn in because... Clearly, there's only spore controls, and there's only two of them, so something's bound to spawn. All right, for this one, we're definitely just going to pop the legendary, I think, at this point. Go ahead and pop it. I had a guy actually try to race me all the way to the thing. Like, he knew I was going to beat him, and he still tried to race me all the way there, and I was like, you know what? I know I'm going to be first. I'm going to actually pursue this. A lot of the time, I let them have it, but I didn't run all the way over here not to get it, so unfortunate for him. Got to throw that this time. Get the party going over there. Oh, well, I could probably get up here. I've never really fought the Mega in this location before, I don't think. I mean, we could be a lot closer, but... What the hell? Why is it only Hellhounds? Okay, energy mines coming through. Oh, there was definitely a lot of zombies right here. Come on. So many zombies still here. If they would thin out a little bit, I'd go down there and fight it. Come on. Let me get through these. Wretchling. No, you blew up, buddy. All right, there we go. We destroyed that face pretty, pretty easily. All right. I mean, this thing is doing pretty dang good. But I, I really think, like I was saying, it's hard, It's so hard for me to say it's better than the regular version of it because the regular version of it's just so dang good. And up to this point, I mean, there has been some parts where this thing feels like it doesn't do as good a damage as it should. But I mean, I don't really think it changes the performance all that much for this specifically. It gives you a little slightly larger mag. It gives you a little bit less recoil. But I think there is probably some loss in dps to some degree you don't lose recoil and gain damage that's just not 
or you don't gain recoil control, I guess I should say, and then gain damage also. It's not usually something that goes hand in hand. Oh, these guys got a mega bomb over here. Look at all these enemies. Holy smokes. They really did turn up the zone. Look at this. The zombie, zombie, zombie. Like, you think they stopped spawning and they haven't. Crowd control. Gotta get all the gotta get all the ads out of the way for their boss fight here. Oh, they want to invite me. I can join them. Maybe they'll take me to the dark either. Let's join them. Oh, they got they got a squad. All right. Well, we did most of the stuff solo. We we conquered what we needed to solo to prove the weapon was still good. Again, I think I think just use the regular version of this weapon. I don't think there's a crazy. I don't think there's anything crazy about this attachment that makes you go, you know what, I think I should run this over the regular version of it. I definitely think the little increase in the mag size isn't going to be enough to change your mind. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about that. I don't really think that's a make or break it. I think might as well just use whatever's stronger when it comes to zombies when the uh, recoil is not all that bad to begin with. Not, we're knocking out this raid weapon stash. I am really curious where this journey is going to take us. Last time I tried to do one of these situations, we ended up in a story mission, and that that was just not exciting. So hopefully we don't have a repeat of that. But it would be fun. Hopefully, maybe they have an elder. Go in there, see how this thing performs. I, I really do think it's either very close to being in line with the regular version of itself, yeah, without the aftermarket part, basically. Like, I like that they added more zombies to the open world environment, but I promise you, if they're going to do that, at least juice up the uh, zombie count for the contracts. Don't burn yourself, bro. Get rid of this, this mega. Yeah, juice up the contracts. At least add more life to those. I'm tired of doing outlasts at some points in, in raid weapon stashes and just having it be nap time the whole time. Gotta get away from it so it'll open up its crit spots, bro. That's the negative we got going on here. Come on. We can get it. There we go. And what a fun adventure this is. People just falling down on the ground. Come on, boys. One of my squad mates here is actually a fan of the channel. That's pretty cool. Don't run, don't run across many of you guys out here, at least not that I know of. And if you guys ever do see me in a lobby, be sure to say hi. I have no idea what these guys got planned, but I will say, if, hopefully, it looks like he's going to the story mission. I don't know if that's the plan. I mean, there's five of us. Where's the other guy at? Now we're all over here. Seems like, for the most part. I don't want to go into a story mission, though. But I do want to help somebody out if they're a fan. I just don't know if that's the plan. The only guy over there at the story mission is... Uh, no? I don't know if that's what they really want to do. Hopefully not. Don't vote that if we don't want to do it. I don't think we're going to that, bro. It's so insane how disorganized sometimes these things can be. It's like, what are we doing? I don't even have a sigil. What's up, boys? Yeah, let's do it. Are we ready, boys? Hopefully we're ready. Let's get it. Hopefully Sledge is ready. Sledge is way over there. Ah, we should be alright. We should be alright. Here we go. We're going into the Elder with some randoms. Hopefully this isn't as chaotic as I think it's going to be. Alright, here we go. I'll follow them. I don't know what order they want to do them in, but maybe they have a specific order that they like to do. I haven't been in the Season 1 Elder in quite some time. dun 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 dun, -dun. Oh, the other guy didn't make it in. That's kind of weird. All right, let's get up here. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Please. All right, where's it at? Come on. 
Dun, 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 dun. This guy's a, this guy is definitely he's definitely been through the elder a few times. Uh, it's happening. It's not good. What is happening here? Um, this has got to be the weirdest bug I've ever experienced. Did we just lag out? We're moving in slow motion. No. No. Yo, that is a tragedy, bro. That's never happened. Well, I mean, we did the best we could with the weapon. I'm 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 so upset that that just happened. We had a fan. We took they took us to the elder and we crashed. That's the first time we've crashed in quite some time. It doesn't look like I lost my containment level or anything that I had. Besides the fact that we lost our end of our journey there. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Again, I don't really see too many reasons why you're going to use the FJX Horus. I'm so disappointed that we crashed at the end there. That was about to be a little bit of fun. But again, go out there, try it for yourself. Unlock it. You no, know, don't go out of your way to unlock it. Don't rush or anything like that. Because I think you're probably more better off with the regular version of the FJX Horus. But try it for yourself. Let me know down in the comment section below how you guys feel about this aftermarket part. To me, it doesn't really make a huge difference in zombies. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.